another Big Four pattern collection. This one happens to be Butterick Fall. And I have told you guys in the past, Butterick, since I began, since I started sewing, has been my favorite. Now, they've wavered here lately, but I feel like almost every Big Four pattern company wavered here lately. So we're gonna take a look at fall, keeping an open mind. Things have been really good amongst the big four lately, so I am optimistic. How's that? All right, is this Kamala Harris? Did she just become a model or what? Uh, doesn't she look like her if you just kind of glance and then glance away real quick? Um, maybe it's the big hair, I don't know. Anyways, women's jacket, shirt, and pants. So we've got a little like wardrobe. I love those when you have all the patterns in one. Um, this is one button front one button front jacket has three quarter sleeves with gathers, pull on faux wrap skirt and wide leg pants have elasticized waist. Also, please excuse if I sound weird or if I have these little itty bitty coughs during the video, I'm still getting over whatever that thing was. It's chest congestion and we're just kind of trying to move through it. Okay, so bear with me. <laughs> All right, so as they said, one button, in the front, you've got these really long darts, really, really deep um, <coughs> V in the front. And then the ruched sleeve is, I mean, have we not seen that a whole bunch this year from all the big four? This is um, really, really cool, fun, easy detail to execute. So I really love that. These pants, although they're elasticated, they do look like they fit really well. They also, of course, look very comfortable. Here's the pull-on skirt. Now, that is not what I was, you know, when they first said that, I was assuming something a lot more basic. This actually has, like, a bit of a wrap front, kind of a tulip, which is really nice. There's the back. The back of the jacket, little, I don't know, linebacker-y through here. A little wide. I don't know if the shoulder seam is just really long. Um, and the jacket itself is also really long. So, I wish we could kind of you know, elevate that and modernize the lengths of the jackets we keep seeing in sewing patterns. But alas, here we are. And I don't think they're going to show us the pants, but you can see them here. So it's not an actual um, casing, I don't think. I mean, that's not what that looks like. So I think there's a little, that can't be right. Hold on, let me read this description again. Pull on, have elasticized waist. So it's not a casing. So the elastic is just sewn into like the top of the pant, I guess. That's interesting. I don't, I can't say that I've, I've certainly never sewn that before. Can't even really say I've seen it and ready to wear. Am I, am I, is that what happened to you guys? Do you just like sew it into the facing or something? All right. Fabrics. Oh, they also didn't show us. Isn't there a little t-shirt? No. Jacket, skirt, and pants. Okay. Um, fabrics, Ponty, French Terry, and sweatshirt fleece for version A. Really? A is the jacket. A and C also cotton blends, poplin, linen, and crepe. Oh, no, wait. I don't know about that, guys. I was imagining something like this for all views. Yeah, th this is something weird is happening in here. I guess the pants you could do, because this is A and C. A is the jacket, and C is the jersey jacket? No. That can't be right. Moderate stretch knit. Is this, this isn't a knit pattern. Boy, I'm real confused already. That's something I have to check the, um, I, and they say one button, but elastic, but they don't tell you how much or what size. <laughs> Just figure it out. Okay, 8 to 16, and then 18 women's to 24 women's on the size range. That's what happens whenever I review the <coughs> collections, like, really quickly <coughs> after they're released. Um... There's a lot of mistakes, typos and stuff. So, but the jacket, you, at most, you would need two and a quarter yards. The skirt just needs two yards, and the pants, like around two and a half. So, that's not bad. 
no helpful finished garment measurements. Okay. Next up, we have, now this just seems like classic Butterick, right? Like a knit dress. Um, this one is top, uh, dress and tops have princess seams, lapped collar and long sleeves. Pull on skirt and pants have elasticized waists. So again, you get the whole, whole wardrobe here. You could do definitely a capsule wardrobe out of this stuff. Um, but they use this really pretty, um, I don't know, that's gotta be, it looks kind of smoother than I originally thought. Maybe some kind of like sweater knit, I guess. But look at these princess seams. They come up into your neck <coughs> and then down the side of your body. A little bit of gathers here. Obviously this needs to be sort of a good balance between a fabric that's stable enough to cover your whole body, but also with all of this drape. Um, so it doesn't look like too, too stiff on your body. Or on your neck. The length is good too, right at the knee. <coughs> this is the skirt and the top, and you can better see those princess seams too. Oh, that one's kind of sporty. That's fun. I feel like this is the fabric recommendations we just saw that just got juxtaposed with this one, maybe. Here's the back, just a center back seam. And then you've also got some ruching here too just classic butterick right here that's what this is really really cool i love the sporty element that it brings the skirt is actually quite nice so are the pants um, especially for ponty knits um, if you don't have like a classic pencil skirt and pencil pants like this um, this could be a good pattern to invest in because i think you'd also make this pullover right and the top is kind of fun. You could do that out of like ITY knit and have a completely different look. So yeah, very versatile. Very versatile on this one. <coughs> okay. So moderate stretch knit, 35%. Jersey, interlock, pony, French terry, sweatshirt, please. That makes a lot more sense. A and C need seam binding. D and E. <laughs> one and a half yards of one inch maybe elastic. <laughs> Oh gosh, extra small to medium and then large to extra large, or 2X, I'm sorry. Um, the dress is two and three eighths. The top at most is one and three quarters. The like pullover sweatshirt thing is two and a quarter. Skirt is just one, one and a quarter, but you can probably eke it out of one. And then the pants are two and three eighths. So very reasonable fabric requirements there. This is a good one, guys. This is a good one. I might be picking this one up myself. Just for like classics, basics, you know what I mean? Nothing too trendy. All right, Mrs. One Button Front Jacket with Notch Collar and Pockets. So, your classic blazer, am I right? Really excellent construction job by the seamstresses there on this sample really beautiful look at these welts welt pockets <laughs> really nice <coughs> um is there a breast pocket yep breast pocket up here which is nice notch collar is nice then they made like a little fancier illustration with some color blocking she cashed it up a bit oh really nice detail in the back you see this in menswear a lot um, where the seam, like the princess seam that creates uh, waist shaping and all of that, kind of releases into the pleat. So you can, you know, move around and sit down and all that. Oh, Palmer plush. Okay. There you go. So you know it's going to fit well, which you can tell this one certainly does. A couple little buttons here too. Kind of like a tuxedo. <laughs> I'm doing my best not to cough, guys. I'm really sorry. Um, wool flannel, tweed, velvet, corduroy, and brocade. Yeah, you're kind of like suiting fabrics. And then fully lined, two and five-eighths of a yard of uh, self-fabric. And then the contrast if you need it. So, good classic Palmer plush. This one looks a little... Hmm. Is it vintage? 
Is it like a reproduction? Misses in women's princess seam coat and dress with flare skirt. A has a contrast color, cuffs and pockets. B has contrast bodice and sleeves. I mean, it might be a, a reproduction of an older pattern because it definitely feels kind of costumey, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Here's the dress where they mixed tweed and silk. So that's a look. I actually probably wouldn't mind it if this were sheer, like a mesh or something. That could be kind of cool. This feels very mature. <coughs> this is how you get into it. I will say the princess themes in the back are really lovely. Just the seaming all around. The fit is really nice. Um, maybe just the fabric choice is a little bit odd. I was, <laughs> I was trying to look at these to see if that made me like it more. <laughs> Sometimes I'll like the line drawings a lot, even if the sample they made is not calling to me. But this, I don't know. Yardage is tweed, wool blends, crepe, and gabardine. Your contrast you can do in velvet, satin, or brocade. And this is kind of what I was talking about. So doing the contrast in B, like the yoke and all of that, in a sheer novelty crepe or georgette. And then you'll need lining fabrics to line it. So six one inch buttons. I guess they're covered buttons. Yep. Uh, one pair of shoulder pads. More covered buttons, invisible zipper, hooks and eyes. 8 to 16, and then 18 women's to 24 women's. Holy moly, 5 and 1 eighth yards of fabric. So, yeah, obviously a fabric hog. <laughs> Even the dress is almost 3 yards, so there's that. I guess that's all that seaming that I was talking about, you know, those longer panels. You know, that takes up a lot of fabric, especially with the flare of the skirt. So, yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. All right, what's next? We're already in the tops, so we're going to be moving through this one pretty quickly. All right. All right, Mrs. Button Front Top has band collar, front pockets, long cuff sleeve, and shaped hem. So, kind of like your military look here with a silky vibe. So, just like a dressy dress. Shirt. All right, chalet, crepe de chine, double georgette, uh, half inch buttons, couple yards of fabric. Yeah, no big deal, guys. Nothing new. Um, oh, how did that happen? Hold on. All right, next up we've got a sweater. Mrs. Top. Mrs. Pullover Top has collar, neckline, and sleeve variations. Lovely little cable knit here. It looks like these might be faux, I mean, maybe they're all, like, not faux buttons, they're real buttons, but, like, non-working? You know? Like, I don't know, there's, or I guess maybe these could be functional, but what would these be for then? Oh, because they clipped this thing. Let's see more pictures before I start making assumptions about things. So yeah, you still can't tell if they actually function or work, but the little shoulder detail with the buttons is quite cute. You've got this sleeve too that we've seen a whole bunch in the last, I don't know, a couple years. Curved hem. I think that must be the one the woman was wearing before. I like it, really chic looking. Okay, here it is in the back. Are there buttonholes? Drum roll, please. No buttonholes. So I think it's just mostly just a detail. I do like the one with the contrast, though. That's really nice looking. Fabric would be French terry and sweater knits. Also 35% cross grain uh, jerseys and interlocks. And then... Top A is one and seven eighths, so is top B, and top B is or top C is one and three quarters of a yard, plus some extra bandage. 
extra fabric for bands, which I guess for that you would use like some kind of solid jersey or something. <coughs> that looks really nice. Next we have, oh, this looks cute. Mrs. Top. Mrs. V-neck top has center front pleat, gathers at front and back yokes, and sleeve variations. So, hard to tell with this print. That looks like an awfully big cuff, but you have this V-neck with a little pleat in the front. Shoulder gathers at the forward shoulder. Look how cute that is. I love that. I love the sleeve. I love the sleeve with the V. That just to me is like boom, boom, boom. Super cute. I'll be getting this one for sure. That, I don't know about that one. But I do really love the short sleeve version a lot. <coughs> Tucked in is nice. Here's your yoke with the gathers. This one's adorable. I love that. This one could be better maybe if it weren't in like gold charmeuse. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> it could be cute too. Because I don't like to buy patterns if I just like one view. <coughs> all right, yardage, chalet, crepe de chine, double georgette. Yeah, all those lightweight drapey fabrics. And then you need buttons. Um, I think just for the cuffs. Extra small to 2x all in one. Love that. One and three quarters to two and three eighths, depending on the sleeve length. Yeah, one and three quarters isn't bad for that little top. Plus, you guys, you know, you can make these into dresses too, which I love that. All right, next up we have this little jacket. Well, not so little. It's actually quite oversized. Zipper front jacket has front pockets and a hood. Okay. So. Oh, it's like a grown on hood. Or is that a seam there? Grown on sleeve for sure. And then um, has a sleeve attached below. Kangaroo pocket. And then this really interesting raw hem. Yeah, this is a ponty with a raw hem. How interesting. Okay. Here's this version. Okay, there is a seam here. This time they put the um, twill tape in, which is a nice detail. And they hemmed it. So it just depends on your fabric choice. <coughs> um, actually, it looks like they just top stitched this zipper on. This is the zipper tape, not a um, twill tape. So there's that. I don't know. What do we think? I think it's kind of cool. I like how like voluminous it is at the bottom. Certainly, it's got to be comfortable. Nice big hood. This, this Ponty in particular is just so drapey. It makes it a little bit more cape-like. I think I prefer the sweatshirt fleece one, this one here. I think that's sweatshirt fleece, yeah. Oh no, that is a, uh, I can't tell what it is. Cool though, right? Different, different shape, different take on a sweatshirt or on a hoodie, kind of like, not your teenager's hoodie, which I really appreciate. All right, yardage. Interlock, French cherry, jersey, and sweatshirt fleece. And also Ponty. <laughs> <coughs> Two yards of cording or ribbon. <coughs> a separating zipper and then... So A has a separating zipper and B has a dual separating zipper. is the difference I thought a dual separating zipper zippered from the bottom and the top but neither of these do that oh no it does weird so you never are fully unzipped right or if you unzip this all the way down does it come apart I've never used a dual separating zipper before even more of a reason for me to want to give this one a try all right, all in one envelope, extra small to 2XL. We've got two and a half yards of fabric and really no finished garment measurements. Okay, 
cruising right along. Now we have, uh, I guess it's this skirt. <coughs> Mrs. Skirt and Sash. Princess seam skirt in two lengths. A has a side zipper. Love a side zipper. And B is wrap front with button closure and sash. So this is a waistbandless <laughs> um, skirt, meaning it just has like a facing on the inside. Nice clean look on the outside. Doesn't add any extra bulk. Oh, well, that's adorable. Like a wrap buttons like working buttons here I think these are all faux and then it ties that's really sweet now this girl has a waistband or maybe that's just showing the facing on the inside yeah the princess seams are really nice even better than darts I would say because you're able to get all the shaping um, through the back exactly where you need it like sometimes the darts can be too short or too long and says seems to allow you to fit it pretty much perfectly okay. another cute one you guys i told you i really liked butterick <laughs> all right yardage so, Shally, lightweight wool, wool blends, and crepe. I mean, yeah, if you're making this for the fall, you can use those heavier weight fabrics, but it's really a year-round design. I mean, chambray in the spring and summer, um, you know, all of those, like, those specialty cottons or cotton blends in the summertime would be perfect, too. All right, here we've got some more questionable lengths <laughs> and sizes. Lengths on zippers and sizes of buttons, so maybe one inch, maybe seven inch, who knows. Six to 14 and then 16 to 24 on the size range. Two yards of fabric for the plain front skirt and then three and an eighth for the wrap skirt because it's a wrap and princess seams and that one's a little bit longer. So you can shorten it. And certainly get it under three yards um maybe maybe two and a half depending on if your fabric is like extra wide but you're probably gonna be close to three yards for that one the sash too all right now we've got i think these joggers mrs pants yeah pull on pants with elasticized waist pockets and hem variations so these are hudson pants through and through again kind of been done we've got the drawstring the front patch pocket, or at least top stitch pocket, and then casing on the bottom as well. She's got no elastic and a really funky finger. Um, no elastic anywhere. That is what the model's wearing. And impressively, normally these joggers, especially with the elasticized waist, are not very forgiving on the backside. <laughs> this doesn't look so bad. A lot of times we get like a lot of diaper, um, but these seem to either have some shape through here or something um, because that doesn't look near as bad as I've seen it before. Um, I want to know more about A. Let's look at the line drawings. I guess it's just a knit band still. Hmm. This I get. No elastic, and this is what it ends up looking like. This, with no drawstring, no elastic. Yeah, I guess it's just a really stretchy knit band with really good recovery. Let's see if they recommend a specific notion for that. So, Ponty sweatshirt fleece, French terry, velour. Yeah, bringing back the 90s. Or I guess that would be like early 2000s. Interlock. And then... Maybe one inch elastic. <laughs> so that's A. So is A the, yeah, A is the flat front one. Huh. I'd have to look at the instructions on that to see if that, if the elastic is, I'm just confused. Because B has elastic as well. 
they don't even give an inch on, they don't even know what kind of elastic you need for B. Um, but they certainly <coughs> need two different types of elastic for these, right? Or maybe A is just narrower at the waist. And so you just, it doesn't like gather around as much. I don't know. I'd have to look at it. Extra small to medium and then large to 2X, two yards for both of them, and no finished garment measurements. Okay, next up, we've got another pair of pants with a sash. Slightly tapered leg pants have zipper front closure, pocket variations, and sash. All right. So these have the patch pocket, felt carriers with the sash, front fly, <clears throat> and yeah, that's a pretty gentle taper. These have a cuff, which is really cute. I love a cuff on a tapered pant because it kind of balances out your hip, like <clears throat> gives you your eye something to see on the bottom and it gives it like some bulk. So rather than it being wide at the hip and then super narrow at your ankle, it kind of gives a little bit of something, a little bit of heft at your ankle to balance out your hip. That said, these pockets typically make wider hips look even wider, so maybe opt for the other pocket, but the cuff is a really good detail for those of us that are pear-shaped. Um, here is one, I guess that's what the model's wearing. Nice fit. Happy with that, although it might be a, li a little small through here. Not small, but a little, like, she needs some fabric taken out. All right. Cute. Cute, cute. If you're a slim figure, these pockets work wonders to give you kind of some more curves than you actually really have. All right. Yardage-wise, let's see what fabrics they recommend. Poplin, twill, linen, broadcloth, and stretch wovens. Seven-inch zipper waistband hook and eye and then two buttons for B for the little pocket buttons and then two and a half yards or two and a quarter yards depending on the version you are making <coughs> all right now we've got is this a jumpsuit yep jumpsuit sash <coughs> and belt zipper front jumpsuit has hood <coughs> or collar long sleeves, sash or belt, and tapered legs with or without elastic cuffs. So I think we're going for like a little bit more of like street style situation here. She has the collar, set in sleeve. Look how low that sleeve looks. That's the belt, zippers all the way down. And then just your regular, and then just your regular hem there. This girl is ready to rock it in the 80s, right? Going jogging in her tracksuit um, with her hood. Here is the back side. <coughs> Sorry about my voice. Um, looks pretty good. A little bit long through here, but pretty good. The seat looks good too. So that's it. Yeah, you only get like a couple of variations here on this one there's our line drawings yeah I don't know about a sweatsuit jumpsuit that it, it could go onesie like really easy you know like if she does that is she wearing her onesie to target you know and then you're like oh no I guess it's clothes and then you're like but is it <laughs> um so 35% stretch fabrics like ponty french cherry sweatshirt fleece velour and jersey elastic d-rings and a zipper and then yardage is like up to four yards yeah that makes sense that makes sense all right let's see oh just a couple more all right so this is a knit dress top skirt and pants so this i feel like should have gone at the beginning but this is raglan sleeve dress and tops have gathers at shoulders and sleeve variations full-on skirt and pants have elastic size waist all right let's see so it's a little knit top possibly dolman 
with a band on the bottom? Oh, maybe raglan. Yeah, raglan. Look how cute that is. I love little sweater knit dresses like this in the fall. Oh, that's kind of cool and cute for like post pandemic situation. I like the gathers in the raglan. I like this one. You also get this pant, they're calling it more like tights if you ask me, but you can sort that out on your cutting table. <laughs> yeah, love the top dress. I love all three of these for sure. This I could make, um, especially if you made it into like a set, you know, with matching fabric top to bottom. That way you had three different outfits. Um, and then these I probably, I would either figure out how to make them more roomy with a lot more wearing ease or just forget them. Plenty of jogger patterns on the market. They look good in the front. The back was a little bit like, I don't know, tight. And she doesn't have near the backside I've got. <laughs> so uh, there's always like in these videos, you guys will comment on like what was really funny and made you laugh out loud. There's always one, right? There's always one thing where Lindsay just like completely forgets that people are listening. <laughs> just say things that just come to mind. Uh, that was probably it. Okay. Um, so moderate stretch knits, 35% stretch, jersey, interlock, Connie, French Terry, and sweatshirt fleece. We've got one inch elastic and then cording or twill tape. And that's just for the skirt and the pants. Small, I'm sorry, extra small to 2X, all in one. Uh, da -da -da -da, two and an eighth of a yard for the dress. One and a half yards for the short sleeve, two yards for like the sweatshirt type one. The skirt is seven eighths of a yard, so easily a scrap buster left over from whatever you've got here. And your pants are two and one eighth. <coughs> <coughs> so, not bad. I really like that one too. I get, I, so, okay, now that we're at the end here, I can say, because these are just family pajamas, we'll take a quick look um, at the pictures. Okay, cute little pajama dress, shirt and pants for the guys, <coughs> or the whole family. Cute. Go ahead and get that now um, when they go on sale for your holiday pajamas, right? All right, so what do I think? Okay, I do think that this is not necessarily the most revolutionary, most trendy, you know, memorable patterns in the world, but they do have some really great basics with a twist, which is what I think my style is most like. I think that that is what I am most drawn to. Um, I like a basic, but I like it to be interesting. I like it to be like something you could see in ready to wear but you maybe necessarily don't normally see in ready to wear probably going to pass on the two palmer plushes this time no to the onesie but this is a yes for sure i loved this i quite liked that i liked this little number talk about basics with a twist right um, I didn't mind the skirt at all. I actually could use some more skirts in my wardrobe. I loved this little top. Uh, presidential style. See, I know I'm not going crazy. She looks like Kamala. <laughs> all right, and that's it. Okay, so that's our lookbook. Um, like I said, basics with a twist, which is why I think I like Butterick so much. It's why I like so many of these patterns, probably more patterns from one collection that I've liked out of all of them just because they're just easy to wear cute when you wear them people don't necessarily know that you made them but are also like that's so different I've never seen that before you know what I mean something like that so that's what I like to sew so of course this makes sense to me but let me know what you guys think in the comments section below otherwise that's gonna do it for me today I hope I can bring some indies back but who knows if we're gonna get another big four collection in the next week so we will see, but I will see you all very soon. Bye.